Maybe you're just trying to find your way, or maybe you're looking for buried treasure. Maybe you're trying to find out where you're going, or maybe where you have been. No matter what, maps are where it's at. Who doesn't like to peek at an old-timey map once in a while and think about days of old? Well, guess what? Green Bay is old. Like, really old. And that means there are all sorts of maps out there, and I'm going to show you my two favorite places that you can find them and point out a couple of things that I found interesting, too. Hi everybody, my name is Andrew Guywitz, your host with Living in Green Bay and your local real estate agent here in the Green Bay, Wisconsin area. I can't wait to show you here in just a quick minute where you can find a whole bunch of maps to learn about and enjoy the Green Bay area a little bit more. If you wouldn't mind, in the comments section below this video, let me know what kind of maps you found, what kind you enjoy the most, or some really cool things you might have learned as you poured over these different maps. The Wisconsin Historical Society has all sorts of information about the state of Wisconsin and specifically Brown County, Green Bay, and this area as well. The state of Wisconsin was officially recognized in 1848. Well, Green Bay and this area has been on the map, if you will, long before that. From the indigenous peoples to the early traders and settlers that made this area home, there's a ton of history. Some of these maps are really cool and have historic names that you'll see on street signs across Green Bay and the surrounding areas. They'll help you understand how the land was developed and sort of all of the different factors at play as this city grew and became what it is today. Not to mention some really fun uh, maps that are maybe a little more commercialized and wanting to show you businesses and all sorts of other things through the decades as well. One thing that I found interesting as I looked over some of the maps is this mention to the East River in Green Bay, calling it the Devil River. Now, if you know anything more about that, maybe why that was called that, would you please let me know? I'm just curious, it's something that stood out to me, but I definitely don't have the answer for it yet. Going to the greenbay.gov site through the link in uh, description of this video will get you to their sort of aggregated map page. And this has maps that are helpful for, you know, all sorts of things day to day, whether it's understanding how the city is structured, different types of infrastructure, or maybe it's uh, property lines and boundaries, flood plains, all sorts of interesting map data that can inform you and maybe help you be a little bit more aware of what Green Bay is like now. And some of those have historical records as well to go back in time and learn a little bit about how the city and the municipalities have developed as well. If you are looking over some of these maps and you might find a place you wanna to move to in the Green Bay or surrounding areas, I'd love to answer any questions you have related to purchasing a home or selling your home here in the Green Bay and surrounding areas. As you can tell, I love learning about Green Bay. Reach out to me through livingingreenbay.com or the description of this video where my contact information is located. Hope you enjoyed finding all sorts of different maps about Green Bay. I will see you on another video with Living in Green Bay soon.